Hi everyone, this is Alyssa coming to you straight from my backyard. I wanted to go on a little outdoor adventure with you guys today on search of one of my favorite animals, which is this guy, our little pill bug. The pill bug, also known as a roly poly, or sometimes a potato bug, can be easily found in your backyard. It's a great animal to find. This animal isn't an insect, although it may remind you of one, this animal is actually an isopod. It's also a crustacean. Now, can you think of another animal that is a crustacean? How about maybe one that you might think of when you go to the beach? Maybe a blue crab? What do these guys have in common? Have you ever found a roly-poly in your backyard? When it curls up, is this shell hard? Does a crab have a hard shell? That's how these guys are related. Now, one lives in the ocean, and one lives on that land. That makes this little animal a terrestrial crustacean. Now, we are on our hunt for the pill bug. The real question is, where do you think we'll find them? Our guest assistant for the day is Paxton, and he is going to help us search the yard for the elusive pill bug. Now, I have searched and searched, and we are going to look maybe down here by our fence. I don't see any here, but maybe we should look under some things. Maybe we'll find a log. Let's take a walk. Let's take a look. Aha! There is one of our little friends. Oh, now there's two. I flipped another log in my yard and it seems like we have some that are hiding right here. Looking in my yard helped me figure out what kind of habitat these roly polies live in. Now that I've looked underneath logs and underneath the leaves and pine straw, I've determined that's where they like to live. Do you think that's where they like to eat too? I think we should try a little experiment to figure out what they like to eat. I have collected about five roly polies from my backyard from their habitat, which we have decided is usually underneath a log or a rock or mulch. And now I'm going to do a little experiment to see if they have any food preferences. I have set a container with two different things that maybe these roly polies could like to eat. So one side is apples and one side is carrots. And now I'm going to place the roly polies in the center. And when I do that, I'm going to check on these guys every 10 minutes to see if they prefer the apples or the carrots. Now that I've checked on my roly polies every 10 minutes for about 30 minutes, I found that more roly polies went to the carrots over the apples, thus proving that these guys enjoyed the carrots more than the apples. Roly polies are an animal that enjoys feeding on decaying plants and other de decomposing materials, so they are considered a decomposer. So this was a simple way to see if maybe they preferred decomposing carrots versus decomposing apples. You can set up this experiment with any type of fruit versus vegetable, or even if you wanted to change a different type of habitat. Maybe set one side with leaves and one side with pine straw and see if they prefer to crawl under one versus the other. This is a very simple way to learn about setting up a simple science experiment and learning how to hypothesize or take a guess about what might happen during your experiment. Now, it's time to release your roly polies right back to where you found them. I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week.